All right, guys, I uh, have joined the uh, ranks of other YouTubers who have uh, built these uh, chicken tractors. I've been on vacation this week, and the last two days I've spent uh, attempting to uh, hone my building <laughs> skills. Uh, that's a joke. But uh, built all of this out of spare supplies that I had around around the house, stuff that I'd bought too much of for other projects. Like this uh, gray board here, that's what the shed's built out of. I had a couple of uh, panels of that left over. The, the uh, wire mesh was actually intended to be wrapped around the chicken coop, or around the run for the the big chicken coop, but uh, that turned out to be more work than I wanted to do. So all of that's left over from that project. But uh, I got my inspiration from watching a guy named Pine Tar or a YouTube channel Pine Tar 100. He has a really nice uh, mobile coop on bicycle wheels. Uh, mine, I didn't use his design, just. Uh, because I'm not nearly as talented as he is. But uh, some of the basics uh, about it are, are similar. Uh, well, when I say that, bicycle wheels, that's about, that's about it. <laughs> but uh, I made mine to be pulled by a lawnmower, so I've got a tongue on it. Uh, the tongue's not nearly long enough. I, uh, I don't know if you can tell right there and right there if you make a sharp turn it would uh, bark my tires so uh, I need to I've got a big long piece of stock aluminum in there that uh, I may just figure out some way to mount on there now I've got an allen wrench as my uh, as what uh, hooks onto the lawnmower but uh, you know it's got the uh, Raisable, uh, and then I've got a hook. I've got two knots, so one lets it down, and the other one just holds it up. I haven't made a door for it. I've not had any trouble in my big coop with any predators getting past the fence, but uh, I may have to build a door. Uh, it's not complete yet. I've got. Uh, It's an overlapping door here, so that overlaps that piece. They've already christened it. But I need to put a roost in here and some uh, some nest boxes. And I was going to kind of do that like pine tar. He had some, uh, some storage area up here and then two nest boxes at the bottom. I wanted to do that just so I could keep the uh, chicken feed in the big coop back there but uh, put a little bit a bucket or so in here and hopefully they won't need a whole lot of chicken feed since uh, since they've got the grass and they've been eating it I don't know that they've uh, figured out how to use the, uh, the ladder yet uh, but all this is just you know these hinges and things are things off of uh, old furniture that uh, before I took to the dump, I stripped. Uh, this is my son's old bicycle wheels. Uh, he's far too big for it now. But I couldn't, there's a piece of uh, electrical conduit that the the uh, threaded thread stock uh, goes through, but it wasn't rigid enough. So I, uh, I took a uh, two by four and just ripped it straight down the center and uh, you can't tell, but I, I cut uh, a V in each half, and then the electrical conduit just rides in the in the V of the uh, of the two halves of two by four. So uh, I had tried to run it through. You can see there's a you can't see, but there's a hole right here. I tried to run the uh, electrical conduit through that and. That's when I realized it just wasn't rigid enough, and it still probably isn't. You can see that the uh, 
the tires kind of cocked out. But uh, when you lift up on the front end, it puts a uh, enough of an angle to put some weight onto the tires, and it rides pretty good. It drags the grass if you hit a bump, but uh, it wants to to stick. But other than that, and I've got to figure out something better for a roof. I just I wanted to get the the little baby chicks were uh, still in the house and. They're not baby chicks anymore, so I needed to get them out quick. So I'm going to find some uh, some metal roofing or something, something similar to that. And uh, give it an angle also. Maybe uh, kind of the prairie schooner, you know, arc. But, uh, you know, if I was a better builder of the uh, pine tar quality, this would have been a lot better, but uh, I'm not, so uh, this is what they get, and they seem pretty happy. But, uh, and then this is, uh, able to raise that part as well to give them water, and I'll probably put the food back here as well. Maybe not, just to keep the food dry, but, uh, like I said, longer tongue new roof and I think that's all they need my only concern is uh, we have neighborhood dogs that like to uh, do laps around the normal chicken run so I'm scared that uh, tomorrow I'm going to wake up and all my beets are going to be uh, flattened out but we'll see thanks guys